in a lab where they normally design jet engines. A Cambridge team's developed a medical ventilator designed to save lives across Africa. So normally I work on jet engines to try and make them more efficient and it has a lot of similar problems. So it has to be safe and reliable and aircraft have to be easy for pilots to use because they fly a lot of different types and also doctors will use a lot of different machines so they need to understand our ventilator right from the start. A machine that should have taken years to develop has taken weeks. One of several new designs from teams across Britain who answered the government's call for help. The key to this device is that everything in this box can be bought relatively cheaply anywhere. So for example, this air compressor here, I'll give you a closer look, actually comes from a vacuum cleaner that's widely available anywhere in the world. Ventilators take over your breathing when your lungs fail. The coronavirus has created a global shortage, especially in the third world. By making this design relatively cheap at hundreds rather than thousands of pounds and easy to fix and maintain, the team says it's suitable for any country. Hi Joel, how are you? Very well. Sorry we've got you standing in between bits of a jet engine, but we're, we have to keep well apart. We're looking to create a ventilator design that can be sustained uh, for low and middle income countries and beyond uh, for the foreseeable future because there's already a shortage of ventilators in, in many countries and every patient needs access to ventilators in normal times as well as during pandemics. This isn't one of the designs the UK government is taking forwards, so it won't be in UK hospitals. But they do have a British manufacturer and a company looking to make them in South Africa. It's Richard here from the BBC. It's nice to talk to you. Hi Richard, how are you? So our appliance is always touch the life of people, but obviously right now the impact, the expected impact of this project will be much bigger. So we are quite honoured and excited about that. It's becoming a common story during this virus. People who wouldn't normally cross paths, engineers, lawyers, doctors, scientists, all teaming up to find quick answers to a global problem. It sounds like it could change the way you work in future when all this is over. I think it will change the way we work with each other because now we can speak a common language and we're comfortable with that, which means that development of anything else would be much faster. Richard Westcott, BBC News, Cambridge.